Kim here with Art Classes for Kids and I'm joined with Lily and uh, welcome to our YouTube channel, Art Classes for Kids. Uh, today we're going to be doing a chalk pastel drawing a little bit like this. It's inspired by the artist named Brad Durham. Here's an example of his art right here and it basically we're going to be doing this uh, scene uh, in the branches where there's a bird and some dragonflies. It's going to be pretty simple and it doesn't take that many supplies. So we're going to tell you what the supplies are so you can gather those up. Lily, do you want to tell them what we got? Yes, so the supplies that you'll need for this drawing, chalk drawing, is you'll need some chalk, white, um, black, and some orange or brown. And then you'll also need a piece of construction paper. Yeah, so you can have a square piece like I've had in this example where it's like that kind of scrapbooking kind of cardstock or you can cut a piece of poster use board. cardstock, poster board, or construction paper. Yeah. Most of you might just have colored construction paper because I know that's easier to get. But if you have any of the other materials, you can use those also. Yeah, Lily's going to be using a piece of cardstock, like the kind you would put in your printer. So um, we're about to get started. So grab those supplies, grab your chalk pastels and your paper, and come join us. While you're gathering that up, I want to thank you so much for watching our videos. And uh, we've been doing them now. This is our seventh week. I can't even believe we are still uh, social distancing and staying at home. But hopefully you've been enjoying the videos and it's been giving you something fun and educational to do at home. And some of you have been even sending your photos. So we love getting the photos, right? Yeah. And uh, we've been getting pictures that show your finished art uh, that you've made. Some of you even send pictures of what your parents have made with you or your grandparents. We love it all and we always reply. If you've never sent a picture before, how can I do that? Well, this is how you can um, give your photos to us. You can post your photo on Instagram and tag it with our classes for kids. Or you can email us at kimandartclassesforkids.com. Yeah, and if you don't know anything about Art Classes for Kids, we're a business, we're based out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and we teach uh, after school art classes in groups, we teach them on the weekends, we also put on summer camps, art parties, and private lessons. So this is the kind of stuff we do in our classes, but for the last seven weeks, we've been bringing them to you for free. And uh, if you'd like to help support keeping these videos coming, and keeping them free, you can do that by adding a tip to our Ko-fi uh, link that you'll find in our description, um, or you can go to our website and purchase some of our art supplies that we have on our list. Which, you wanna tell them a little bit about that, Lily? Which is linked to Amazon. Yeah, we're Amazon affiliates, so we've narrowed down all the supplies that we use. All of our in... basic supplies we use in almost every single one of our, our, our YouTube videos. Yeah, whether it's drawing, painting, or sculpting. So check that out before you check somewhere else uh, if you need some supplies. So hopefully by now you've gotten all the supplies you need. And if you have, let's get started. Oh, but if you have it and you need, or you need to take a break, or we're going to fast or slow for you, you can pause this video at any time if you need to. Yeah, and then when you're ready to join us again, you just push play. So, let's get started. I chose blue, and I'm gonna be drawing mine, you know, holding it up. Lily's gonna be doing her tabletop, and uh, this is pretty simple. So this is for all ages. If you're one of the young ones, you're gonna love this project. Let's start with our white pastel, our white chalk pastel. So what I want you to do is we're gonna start with the branches. To draw the branches, we're gonna put to have one branch coming off of each edge of the paper. So the bottom edge, I'm going to do one that goes halfway towards the center. The top, I'm going halfway towards the center. On the sides, I'm gonna have one halfway to the center. And if you do make a mistake, you can just rub it out a little. Yeah. And it will go away. Yeah. And then get one over to the other side, your right side. So you have four lines coming in just like this. That's the first step. Pretty easy. Now branches break apart, split apart, or grow apart, and they make shapes. I think the most common shape is like the Y shape, like that. See how it looks like the letter Y? So you're gonna do that to all of your branches. Sometimes you can have a longer one than the other. If you you know, are having a hard time with the Y, just keep turning your paper 
and then go, oh, here's a Y, here's a Y, and then you'll get your Ys. And some of your Ys can overlap a little. Yeah, now you don't want your branches perfectly straight because in nature, they don't grow perfectly straight, unless they're like bamboo or something. Yeah. Super and straight. also, if you have any dust from your chalk, you can, don't blow it, or else if you're working with anybody else, you can uh, get it in their eyes, or if there's something around you that you don't want to get dirty, it might get dirty. Yeah, so or the dust could get in your nose and then it makes you sneeze. So you just to uh, tap your paper on your surface that you're using. So next, oh, and see, it made her sneeze. So anyway, next what we're doing is we're going from somewhere near the corner. It could be the corner or it can be near the corner, but we need some more branches. So bring one in from every corner. And then take that and turn that into a Y shape. Remember, some can be longer than others. Okay, now I want you to give me three more anywhere you want, but they have to come in from the outside. So I'm gonna have one come way over here and make a shape. And they can cross they over. They can cross over another one. Another and I'm gonna have one way over here, come through here, and I'm going to make one from the side. How many three? Three. More? Three bonus branches. Cool. Now we're going to start to add some leaves. At the end of every one of those lines, you're going to make this shape that looks like a leaf. It looks like, you know, the shape of an eye or a squished football or lemon. You're gonna put one of these on the end of every single one. And these can overlap too. Yeah, and you don't wanna have your arm across your chalk while you're drawing. You wanna keep your arm off to the side. Otherwise, you're gonna smear all the hard work you've done. And also, if you have any chalk on your fingers, you don't want to put your fingers on your on your drawing or else you might get some figure. Yeah, yeah but if you need to hold it down, just go to the very edge. Okay, so I'm putting one leaf at the end of every one of these. Now, I don't know how many ends of tips we had, but we had a lot. I think I've gotten all mine. We'll give you guys a little more time. Make sure you've got a nice point at the end of that leaf. Now, we're going to add some small branches to the main branches. So for example, you see this branch right here? I'm gonna add a little branch with one leaf, or I can add two leaves to it, or I can make one of those branches that's a mini Y, and it has a few. So now you're adding at least one branch. Let's see, let's add like 10 more mini branches. So just go over to whichever ones you want. So I'm gonna make one here and add a mini branch. Here, add a mini branch. You want them to go like they're reaching towards the Y. You don't want them to go backwards. If that makes any sense. If you have a big space, I have a space right here. Oh, that's a good spot for a branch. Do a mini one like that. So anywhere that you've got a big open space, you can add an extra branch too. You can even have a, a leaf go off the edge because this is like zooming into a scene. Okay, let's see, I might have a branch go here. Uh, I'm done. Okay, so now we have a ton of branches. Oh wait, do we put those uh, oh, leaves put leaf, on Yep, oh, okay. you put the leaf at the end of every one of those new branches you drew and make sure it's pointed at the end Okay, so do you have any guesses what we're gonna do next? What we're going to do next is we're going to fill in all the leaves with white. 
And for the advanced student, if you've done a big square and you still have room, you can put two or three leaves at the end of one of the branches. That's up to you. So if you have a spot if that has you're extra advanced. Room, yeah, or, don't do that if you're five. You know, you, or you got if you it, want to just take up a challenge. Yeah. I always give some options, okay? So now you're gonna go through and you're gonna fill in your, your leaf. You don't wanna just put chalk in the middle and scribble it. No, you wanna go from edge to edge inside and fill that with white. You don't have to uh, tap your chalk dust right now. Wait till you get them all filled and then tap the whole thing at once. So now it's just a matter of filling in all the leaves and try not to smear your work of art. If it helps, like I might lay mine down for a minute because I can rub this a little easier. Looking good, Lily, you're about halfway through. Yeah. So it's gonna be a huge white space. Oh really? No, there's a little space between it. I think it looks good. I think I need that. As I'm coloring in, I noticed some spots that I could really use an extra leaf in. Okay, I've got all mine filled, so now I'm going to give it a tap, let all the dust fall down there, push it away from my art so it doesn't get into my art. Next, I'm looking, if I have any spots that I didn't color in so good, I could take my finger and blend it in a little better. Oh, I forgot a leaf right here. Okay, so I'm looking pretty good. That one I didn't blend in so good. So I'm just looking around and touching up right now. Just seeing what I can do to make this look the best I can. Let me give that another tap out. See, I keep my, my chalk dust on one little pile so it doesn't get everywhere. I think we're looking pretty good. Lily, you're looking pretty good. If you've got some fingerprints or smears, you can always take a clean finger and try to wipe it off. I take my pinky, because I don't use my pinky that much. Okay, so next we're going to do the dragonflies. We're gonna keep the dragonflies somewhere in the bottom area so we have room for that bird somewhere in the top section, okay? So next, what I want you to do is I want you to get your brown or your orange. You ready, Lily? Just about? Yeah. I'm just letting these in a little more so it doesn't look so streaky. Okay, I'm good. Okay, so grab your orange. I'm gonna be using brown. And now this is going to be really, really skinny. I'm gonna draw actually on my tablecloth right here. It's actually a paper tablecloth. You know what an X looks like? An X looks like that, right? We want a really flat X. So, so you can practice Practice a on a piece of paper how to get a really narrow X, a really flat X. The flatter the better because it's gonna take an X to make the dragonfly wings. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a spot over here and I'm going to make the really narrow X. But we're gonna make it smaller than this. Of yes, course. of course. So I've got one right here. I'm gonna zoom that in. See my little brown X? And you want it skinny. If you can use the corner of your chalk, that's best. Because once you do that, you're going to make Oop, oop. You're gonna rub it on the X and get it a little blurry. Just like that. Then you're going to make a little loop, and a little loop, and a little loop, and a little loop. So if you look at it closely, it looks like this. So we make it crisscross, we rub it and rub it, and then we make the loop, so it's pointed in the center. The loop, you can just go back in like that, like that. Okay, so next we're going to make two more. 
So I'm gonna find another spot. I'm gonna have one right here. Remember, it's really skinny and really flat X. Then I take my finger and I give it a little rub. Crisscross. Then I go back and I loop it, loop it, loop it, loop it. So I've got two dragonfly wing sets. Kind of like you're more. gonna make a figure eight one way and then a figure eight. Yeah, a so now I'm gonna do one over here. Now it's way. really, they're really skinny and delicate. So now I'm doing this, my last one over here and I rub it and I rub it to fill it in. And then, whoops, then I just go up the edge and come back to the center. Up and in the center, up and in the center, just like that. So now I've got three sets of dragonfly wings. And on the last set. Looking good, Lily. Wings. Okay, good. Okay, so to do the body. Oh, I'm tapping the dust. Tapping your dust off. off. I didn't get mine. Grab your black. You ready, Lily? Grab your black. Now you're gonna make the smallest, and I'm talking really small, because once you make it, you can't make it smaller, but you can make it bigger. So try to go smaller than you think. You're gonna make an oval, whoops. Oh, I just messed that one up. So look, I just messed it, that's all right, I'll, I'll move it. You're gonna make an oval in the center, darken it in, the tiniest oval that you've ever seen. And then you're going to put a little round circle that's no wider than the oval on the top for the head. So basically right here, you're gonna have an oval and a circle. Let's see how yours looks, Lily. And then you're going to touch the oval and make a little dash line out of the back. So from here, I just go like that. And if you lift it, you'll get a point. So let me go over that one more time with you. So you're finding your uh, dragonfly wings and you're making the tiniest black oval right where the wings all meet in the middle. Just like that. And then you're making a teeny tiny circle on top. And then you're taking your pastel to the oval. Let me tap that out. And then you're just making one line flick out. And if you wanted a longer line, then go longer out. Nice! Okay, last one. Oval in the body. Circle for your head. Tap out the chalk dust. And then the line goes through it and look it out. I think that one was my best one. That was. So I've got some long tails. If you want to make your tails longer, you can try to flick it so lightly that it goes thinner. I think I'm good. You're good? Okay. So we've got our leaves. We've got our three dragonflies. And now all we have left is the bird. The We're bird, almost done. The bird is the most challenging part. So I'm going to draw it first for practice on my... Yeah, you might have to practice this a couple of times. I'm drawing this right on top of all stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a teardrop shape like this with the, that's going to be towards the tail. Then you're going to make a U shape attached or backward C for the head. Then you're going to make a line for the beak or you can make two lines, but I like to keep it small. Then you're going to make a tail, which is a super narrow triangle, a super narrow triangle. Then you'll be making another one of these teardrops, but it's going to stick up in the back like that. And then you're going to make another teardrop. It goes like that. And then you're going to fill all that stuff in. And then you're going to add the legs. The legs go sideways as a little line, then angle downhill and back, and three little toes or little claws. Okay, <laughs> looks good. Okay, so you, you could have them on a branch like that, but we're gonna get started. So you see what's coming up? Once we do it on here, it is on there. So you ready? Hopefully you're ready. You ready? You can never get rid of black. You can't get rid of the black once it's on there. You ready? Okay, so that was our practice. Okay, so somewhere on the top, I'm going to make that big teardrop shape. So it looks like that, but I have the point up higher than the rounded part. Oh, 
Okay, now somewhere over here where the curved part is, you're gonna add the head. The head is like a backwards C or a sideways U. Don't put it towards the bottom, put it towards the top like this. Oh, I'm gonna have to pick. That's, That's cool. all right. You, different birds have different shapes. Then you're just gonna put one little line out for the beak. And then if you wanna be more advanced, you can turn that into a super narrow triangle. But if you can't do that, just leave it one line. Okay. And it's just the silhouette of a bird, so we're not gonna draw the eyes and nose and stuff. Okay. Okay, so next what we're gonna do, oops, I just kinda messed up that nose. Okay, next what we're going to do is the tail is a super narrow triangle. What's a zigzag? You can zigzag the, the end of it like this, or you can flatten it. I'll let that be your choice. Okay, now remember the teardrop shape we had before? We're gonna do a smaller one, and it's gonna be right here. That's gonna be a wing. Make a smile in the middle of the body and turn that into a teardrop. And point it out of the body. There you go. And going back, because it's aerodynamic that way. Yeah, there you go. And now you're gonna have another one that can be lower or higher than this one. I'm gonna make my next one lower. So watch me, Lily. My next one is gonna be lower. I'm gonna put a little dot here where I want my point to go. And watch what I do. Here's a trick. You can aim it to the curve of the other one that. So now I've got my two pointed wings. Yours is in full flight. All right. So now you're going to blacken in everything. You're going to blacken in everything right here. All those shapes. And try not to get it all over your other part of your drawing. So and then at the very end, we're going to tap our dust. Yep. Oh, gosh, I got to tap my dust now. Because I had a lot on there. Then, if I want to fill it in, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to rub in circles without going out of my black area. I'm going to fill in my black because there's little spots. Because chalk pastels, you know, they're not the smoothest. Alrighty, so I've got my bird right here, but I want to give it that glow. You know, this is the style of the artist Brad Durham. He's an American contemporary artist. And this is only one of the genres that he works in. Sometimes he does more abstract paintings, sometimes he does landscapes. But these ones are the series he did, oh my gosh, maybe 20 years ago, of these uh, birds in these branches. So one thing of his signature style is that he has this little glow around the bird. So um, what I'm going to do, notice I'm like wiping out my dirty fingers. I'm going to take my brown now, or orange. Or orange. And now I'm going to outline as close as I can without any space between it. I'm going right up to my black. And if you need to turn your paper to get a better angle for you, you can do that. Yeah, so I'm outlining my entire bird without any space between my outline and my black. Just like this. Okay, and then I'm going all around the head, even the beak, and I've got an outline, and I tap out my chalk dust, and I wait for Lily, make sure my fingers are, my fingers are pretty dirty. Whoops, oh, I touched all these. So while I'm waiting for Lily, I'm gonna touch up, I'm going to touch up the leaves that I've been rubbing off. I'm done. Okay, so I just touched up my leaf that I messed up. You might even want to touch up that little thing. But now we're gonna do our finishing touch, which is to make it glow. So find a finger that isn't dirty. Usually it's your pinky finger. 
And then you're just gonna rub around this in, in a little baby circle. So watch this, Lily. See how I go around in this little mini circle? Yeah, yeah, So I'm pushing the brown without smearing the black all around so I get a glow around the bird. And then if you want to, you can um, outline it a second time if you think you messed up something. Yeah, but I think you, yours is going to come out pretty good. I'm trusting you guys. Uh, I, I kind of smudged my black a bit. Into okay, so you mean you can touch up your black if you want. Yeah. Also, see, look, I, over here, towards the tail, I got some black Woo! into it. So That's I all right. Still looks cool. To, so now what you, you want to tap out the chocolate. You don't want to smear this all over. You just want a little glow around your bird. Yeah. I'm gonna do that again over here. Wow, Lily, it's looking great. I'm you, just smoothing out my bird really Wow. Quickly. You think, oh, I should do some of that. Because it got kind of messed up and smudged by the outline of it, so I had to redo it a little. So, are you ready for the reveal? You yeah. Ready? Okay. Oh, I ready? got some. Um, Ooh. Well, here. you can wipe that off. Yeah. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Ta da! Ta -da! This is how ours turned out. I hope yours turned out really cool. I'd love to see how it turned out. I'd love to see what color of paper you chose. All of this and how your birds and your dragonflies turned out. So, if you can send us a photo, that would be awesome. You Bye. can post your photo on Instagram and tag it with our classes for kids, or you can email us at kidandartclassesforkids.com. Yeah, and if you want to join us this Friday, I'll give you a sneak peek of what we're going to be making. Let me set this down right here for a sec. So, on Friday, Every Friday I do something that I call Found Object Friday. And that is where I look around my house for some common objects or I set up a still life and we learn to look at it differently, learn how to draw better, and we also build our skills in drawing or painting. So this Friday we're gonna be doing something like this. This is inspired by the British artist Michael Craig Martin and this is a still life of common objects where we're only gonna color one and we're gonna learn how to do line drawings of the others. So what you're gonna need for this, if you're joining us Friday, and I hope you do, is a canvas, either the kind that have staples in the back, or a canvas panel, just the thin kind. Um, you're also going to need the basics of uh, acrylic paints, um, you're going to need a palette to put the paint on. We just use a paper plate. You'll need a Sharpie in case you want to do all your lines with a Sharpie. You're going to need a medium and a skinny brush and a pencil. And a paper towel and a jar of water. So that's what we're going to need for Friday's project. Making this, I might have different objects, but I might have these. We'll see. And uh, hopefully you'll join us. So what else can we tell these guys? We, we want you to keep tuning in and watching more videos. So what should they so do, Lily? You can like, subscribe, and click the notifications button down below if you haven't already, so you can know when all of our art videos are coming out. Yes, and we can't wait to see you again. Until then, keep making cool, cool art. art.